Hiya. So this is my six months out of hospital video. Honestly, if you told me when I got discharged that I'd be that I'd manage six months in the community, I would have laughed in your face. Like I was so stuck in the cycle of hospital, home, hospital, home, hospital, home. Like in the past year i don't know four or five years the longest i've managed at home without hospital is three months and before then when i was younger i only stayed out through maintaining a very low weight but not low enough that i needed hospital admission whereas this time i've actually engaged and i'm actually like making progress and it's amazing like i have made a list of what I want to talk about so I don't waffle and hope I don't waffle so I came out on the 17th I think it was and then two days later I went to London with Ellie that was amazing um, my first proper holiday you know free I've had driving lessons they went really well as you know I did an update on that and then on the 4th of March we got Buttons who's our dog and he's like, he's just lovely. Like that's such a big thing that we got a dog as a family. Cause we, I was in, we went to Wales and it was a 14 hour journey cause the M1 or M4, M4, M4 was shut. So it was 14 hours there and back. And I struggled so much back then with being still before I went into hospital, I really struggled with being still. So I would not have been able to do 14 hours in a car. Whereas to get the dog, I was like, I was still eight and like I did that um, and then I went for my first meal out on Mother's Day and it made my mum so happy we went to Weatherspoons. I think I've done a video on it but um I had a teriyaki noodle thing and then I had apple crumble afterwards I couldn't finish the apple crumble but it made my mum so happy I also in March um, started reintroducing gluten into my diet to find out if I'm actually intolerant to it or celiac or whatever or whether the dietitian I saw years ago when I was younger just was punching at straws and or pulling at straws whatever the hell the expression is and just said it you know for, like <laughs> just because it was a guess and I've actually had my celiac test today so I'll get the results for that at some point um since I've been out, I've been going out for lunch with friends and even met up with Lucy, Healing Loose, and we had lunch at Cafe Nero. And like, I never would have done that before. I was just too nervous. Like, it's really silly. I don't know if Lucy watches my videos. I don't think she does. It's really silly, but um, the whole time I was in hospital with Lucy, I don't know why. I just, my, she was so kind. She was so lovely. And like, I really wanted to be her friend, but my brain basically convinced me that she would never like me and that she was too pretty and too like above me sort of thing and so when we met up for lunch like it was so lovely because I don't know like I hope I didn't annoy her in any way but like she's just such a lovely person and it was so lovely to meet her for lunch because I'd spent my whole time in Howden thinking that she really didn't like me and I just, yeah it was just so lovely and I met up with Emily, as you know, who was also in hospital with me, and we still meet up regularly. I'm actually meeting her on Monday, and she's doing really well, and like it's so lovely because we've both come so far. I met up with my friends from school, Sabrina and Roseanne, and I've had lunch out with them, which I hope is nice for them. Like all the years they've known me, I've been like ill, so like going out for lunch and things like that we just never would have done those sort of things so it's just really nice and I hope it's nice for them as, as it's nice for me um so yeah on the 21st of May I got Poncho my bunny because my other bunny unfortunately passed away due to cancer um so after four weeks later I had to get another bunny because my other bunny was pining so we got Poncho, he's now part of the family. Um, I went to the cinema with my parents 
on the 29th of May and we went to see The Secret Life of Pets 2 and I haven't been to the cinema, well, haven't been to the cinema with my mum since the Hannah Montana movie, whenever that was, that was the last time I went to the cinema with my mum and then I haven't been to the cinema with my dad since the last Harry Potter came out because we went to see the last Harry Potter where Voldemort blew up all over the cinema because we watched it in 3D it was very good so that was such a lovely day because it was such a nice thing to do for us as a family again something i wouldn't be able to do if i wasn't in recovery because it's again sitting down and i do struggle i did take my tangle but it was so lovely um and yeah like it was just so lovely and then obviously i'd been in therapy for a long time at this point and therapy was it's really intense and at the beginning it was even more intense and um so unfortunately I did have a relapse with my other behaviours, my self-harm and things, and there was a time where my team were very concerned about me, um, they were very concerned about my safety, there was talk of psychiatric admissions, there was lots of scary talk going on, and I didn't ever think I'd pull myself back out of that dark hole, um, and it all came to like a head, I don't even know what the date was, but it all came to like a head when there was an incident of me doing something that I haven't done in a lot of years um, and I ended up in Amy and needed treatment and um, yeah it was, it was hard because I haven't done anything like that since the first time I was at Holden which was two years ago I think. Um, and my team were very, very concerned. They were, didn't really know what to do. And yeah. But thanks to my friend Ellie, she sent me a really nice box, which I'm gonna do a video on because it's based on my sensory box, with distractions and things in. And I use that very frequently when I'm struggling with like urges and things. She FaceTime me, FaceTimes me all the time. She was with me through that whole horrible blip. She was texting me while I was in A&E, throwing my guts up, like, she was just there for me and I can't thank you enough Ellie like if it wasn't for you like I don't know where I'd be basically <laughs> so yeah but um yeah that was a really hard time and unfortunately because I'd been sick and lost a lot of weight and things that led to a small relapse with my eating which lasted about seven weeks but the difference was I got back on track because I reached out to my team, to my dietitian for help and I was like, I don't want to end up back in Howden, can you help me like get things back on track? And we did and by the 7th of July, so last month sometime, I was back to my maintenance amount because at this point I was still just maintaining the like progress I'd already made. and. I was back to that and I reached a really big turning point in my therapy through dealing with things that happened in my childhood and school and traumas and things. I would made the mental switch in my head that I was ready to have an adult's body basically and become an adult physically. And so that was a really big turning point for me because before the whole thought of you know, become, de developing a figure, should we say, was terrifying to me and I was holding on so much to the past and like being a child and feeling safe and things and so that was a massive turning point for me. And so on the 11th of July, my team and I came to the conclusion, well not the conclusion, that's not the right word, but we decided it was time to continue restoring my weight in the community. There was some talk of would I go back to day patient to continue restoring because they didn't believe that I'd be able to do it in the community but I've been doing it for a month now and so far I've proven them wrong because I've ma I've followed my plan to the T I've restored 1.2 I think and I'm being weighed again on the 29th and I'm pretty sure I've restored more since then and so I've proved them wrong that I am doing this in the community and I will be healthy in the community and I'm not going to need day patient intervention though they still don't quite believe me about that um, so I need to be healthy to go to college basically um, so yeah and on my dad's birthday going back a bit now on, in June I had cake for the first time in six years and 
oh it was it was amazing like it made my dad so happy and it was so lovely to see and i've challenged like i don't want this video to be all about food i've challenged so many different foods since i've been out that i never thought i'd eat again and it's mental and i sang at a local hotel i've been singing again and then obviously the most recent thing i did was i went to london with ellie again and we had an amazing time and the london vlog is on my channel and yeah i've been out six months and it's amazing and this video is basically just to say oh i can't believe i've been out six months and look back on how the six months have been because obviously as you heard i didn't want to dwell on it but there was a very rocky patch where i didn't think i would be still in the community at this point but i am still in the community and i'm really excited for september and starting college and yeah here's to the next six months is all i've got to say so goodbye